I'll be 80 in August. Yeah, 80 years old, August. Fallen with my baby here. But you stumbled and you tried again? Yes. I had bad deals go wrong and deals go wrong. And I said, well, I still believe in it. Come to the point I had to do it myself. Never did it before. Sometimes it can be awfully rough and you feel like giving up, but there's that little voice saying you can't, you can't. Just hold on to your dream. Hold on to your dream. The title of my book is Beautiful Brown Snow Lady. I was inspired to write that book after having written a poem some years ago about the little girl who went out to play in the snow one day. And she decided she wanted to make a snow lady. Not only a snow lady, but a brown snow lady. And she painted her brown because she wanted her to look like her. I thought, you know, that should make a nice story. So that's a, another step up from just writing about it. Putting it on paper, making it come alive with pictures for little kids to, to see and relate to. Even if they can't read the words, they can get the gist of the story just by looking at the pictures. So that's, uh, <clears throat> that was my intent as far as uh, increasing um, the writing process, as you might say, write and then illustrate. I, I'm pleased with it. It was a lot of work because they had a lot of setback of promises and they didn't come through for, I don't know, reasons, but anyway, I didn't want to give up on it. so. I thought, well, if I want to get it out, I'd better do it myself. And my grandson, one of my grandsons, really made me feel that I could do it. So I thought, well, I got to do it. You know, I can't lose money because I didn't have more money to put into it. So I got busy during the summer and put it together, drew the little characters. And it took a while. I threw away lots of papers where I had begun and wasn't satisfied and, uh, and worked with until I thought it might be acceptable if people could recognize the characters and I wanted them to look like real people. So um, as you look through the book, you'll see my <laughs> the results of my labor and, and all. So as I say, Mr. McFarland has been very supportive and um, they are counterpart uh, spokesmen and other friends, and and it's selling, so I'm happy about it. Drawing, like what? What what made you want to be an artist? I don't know. I I just sit down sometime and do stuff. No particular reason. I guess I like to like to draw, not realizing that one day I would be. Now this I would like to do more with. And this I did also. I would like to do more with this, maybe uh, do a better job and frame it. You know. Your art has an Afrocentric quality to it. Is that on purpose? I guess that's me. It's me coming out. My book is out and the people like it and just uh, some of the comments I get from the book Oh, I like the eyes. Look at those eyes. And some turn their pages and they just gleeful. Oh, look at, look at, look at you. Look at, look at, look at. Oh, I like this. I like that. And then I'll sometimes ask, well, turn to a certain page and see if there's something for me about that page. And then they'll turn and I help them, of course, to find out what it is that's familiar about the page that they might recognize. And they finally, but you know, surprising, most of the kids recognize, recognize him immediately. Immediately. And a lot of adults, too. And I said, now look at this page. And then I said, a little closer, I said, well, look, at the, look in the living room. Look in the living room. And they look and look and look, and I said, oh, that's, that's, that's Obama. I said, yes. I said, I thought at the moment, what an opportune time to include him in my book. 
because had it been done earlier, I wouldn't have had the chance to put him in my book. But now that I'm doing it, I added him to my book. And I like to think, you know, this is me thinking that. I like to think <laughs> that this is the first book would someone have put him in their story for children to read? I also like to believe that she's the first brown snow lady on the planet. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking about. My book is Brown Snow Lady. Well, uh, when they pick the book up, I hope that they will be able to connect with it in some way through something that I've said. And it can become a teaching tool uh, for the children as far as um, family working together, accomplishing this little girl's goal is to make him a brown snow lady. And um, um, well, like I said, the support she had, mainly family working together and um, seeing that uh, this become a reality for her and, um, and of course, it's make-believe, but it can be a reality. As I said, maybe some child now will want to go out and make a brown snow lady. And um, I just hope they like to pick the book up more than once and read it and reread it and, and share it with their friends. <laughs>